yes uh, hello everyone yeah as we promised that i will uh, make a manual video for uh, for box cost transformation of our data set so here is the data set what i've provided to all of you uh, in the data set uh, these are uh, the uh, there are 10 control animals and then 10 uh, treatment animals uh, from from the control animals this uh, red mark uh, results are blood cytokines level of the control levels and then uh, in the green mark these are the um, blood cytokines levels of the treatment animal so uh, i want to check what is the difference between these cytokines levels and then this cytokines level so is there any difference between the level of the cytokines so for this uh, uh, analysis we do analysis of variance or ANOVA and uh, for the ANOVA test there is a prerequisite that you should have that this variable uh, must be uh, homogenized and normally distributed so we that's why we have to check this uh, uh, variable are normally distributed or not so let's uh, first copy this uh, let's first copy the control variables control group variables so we just copy these variables in the spss So here is the uh, nine variable from the control group. So we want to check this like this uh, first variable is normally distributed or not. To perform this, we go to analyze and then descriptive analysis and then go to explore. Then we move this uh, first one to dependent list and then we plot. We plot uh, normality plot with test. We don't need this steam leaf and leaf. Okay, so just check okay so for normality test we uh, mainly see this uh, shapiro wilson test sometimes we also check this colo call morgrop smirnov test but in this test uh, if uh, the significance level is uh, less than 0 0.05 then the data is not normally distributed and uh, same thing apply for also this test so here we can say that our data is normally uh, not is not normally distributed at as it's less than 0 0.05 and also if you check the skewness and kurtosis it's uh, it's more than zero and here it's it should be like around zero but it's like it's more than zero so it's not good skewness and kurtosis for normally distributed data and uh, if we check this detrended normal qq plot uh, for normally distributed data uh, it should be between uh, 0.5 to minus 0.5 but in this case it's more than that uh, some dots are outside of the uh, 0 minus 0 0.5 line or 0 0.5 line and uh, if we check this one and in this plot, we can check like there is a big outlier like this one uh, here is the um, most of the data realized but one it's uh, uh, situated outside of the uh, outside of the data so it's the number one if we check from the spss so it says it's like this one so you can check like this is 517 where others are very less than this so that's must be an outlier so we could either uh, exclude the outlier or we transform the data set okay let's uh, do another one uh, like uh, for say example this variable we again want to check this variable is uh, normally distributed or not so we just move back the first one and then second one we want to check this one is normally distributed or not okay we'll check so this one uh, you can check this second variable this is also uh, here it's also less than 0 0.05 so it's not normally distributed and uh, skewness and kurtosis is also uh, bigger than zero and you check this uh, detrended uh, normal qq plot 
uh, one uh, value is outside of the 0 0.5 line and also one value is outside of the minus 0 0.5 line and but there is no outlier in this data set so what we can do to make it uh, make this data set uh, make this second variable uh, normally distributed we uh, we will transform this data set to its power value like from uh, plus 5 power value to minus 5 power value and then check for the uh, normally distribution and this is done through box cox transformation so for this reason we have a syntax provided by our teacher and it's uh, here i have downloaded it just a minute yeah so it's this syntax for the uh, to converting to its power value and check so here variable is yield but in our case i think our variable is blood i so here is the, our variable name blood i and g okay so i just manually write this name here it's like blood so it's the second one yes so we want to check check the geometric mean for that uh, data set so its geometric mean is 29.6931 we have to copy this one and and replace it with this geo mean so for replacing you have to put control plus h in your command pad so it's like that and then you change geo mean with the our geometric means results so it's this one yes so i just replace this one and now it should work okay you we also have to change this yield to this our variable so let's replace it same way so it should be yield and then it's blood infg okay so i'm just replacing them yeah so it's now replaced with that and now we want to compute this variable it will give us variable power 5 to minus power 5 okay so it's now done i think so they compute the variable let's check from the main data set so here you can check like this uh, new variable are formed with minus power minus power 5 minus power 4 to plus power 5 you can check this now we want to check this uh, which one is uh, normally distributed uh, or not so for this reason we again go to the syntax and then we will examine these variables so just run this command so now it's coming and because it's so much data sets it take too too much time but it's coming now yes it's now came so it just came and we can check from there but we don't need those uh, descriptive statistics and those things so we'll only check test of normality so here we can check the test of normality from all of the variable so in case of minus power 5 we can check that uh, this significance is more than 0 0.05 so here the data is distributed and also data is distributed for uh, minus power 4 here you can check and so on but if you go to down in case of plus uh, power 5 uh, the data is not normally distributed because it's less than 0 0.05 so it's uh, normally distributed up to this level so up to uh, power 0 0.5 data is normally distributed so let's check uh, in the down so it's uh, you can check like this the trended normal qq plot data is uh, between 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.5 so so on and there is no outlier you can also check so so do on 
so it's like that and then if you go to the down you can check there is an outlier and also uh, the data is uh, the detended QQ plot is more than minus 0 0.5 or more than 0 0.5 so it's not normally distributed and uh, so from there uh, we want to uh, take the best one which one best suited our uh, normal distribution so uh, in this case I will say that I think uh, maybe power yeah this one I think uh, best suited the data set most of the data set are in the middle so so I just say that and this is also between uh, this is extended value is between 0 point uh, between this level so I would say minus uh, power minus 2.5 is the base suited our result so let's check minus 2.5 from there so it's it, so this is the this is the data set it should be it's this data set should be normally distributed uh, data set if you want to do more let's go to descriptive analysis and then explore and then we want to check this minus 2.5 so this one just plots and then histogram we will also plot okay So this is the histogram and we will give a we'll give a line this is normal crab so you can check this although it says it's like this this data set although it says r little bit right skewness but I guess this one is the best suited uh, uh, data set of our results and then uh, so uh, so we will use this one for uh, ANOVA analysis and ha that's how we transform our data set and uh, after uh, when we present the result we must again uh, convert them to their original form so like it's like minus power uh, minus 2.5 so then again we reduce this minus 2.5 far from the results so we uh, print them in their original results so I guess uh, that's how we transform uh, data set and do box cost transformation yes and if you have any question then uh, please ask thank you everyone